I'm at Kruger's Farm Market today and we're going to be discussing the wide variety of choices that we humans have and then later on we're going to contrast those to those of an owl. But right now, to get me through this episode, we're going to get a cup of coffee. Hi. Hey, thanks a lot. And and we're at the Grind Coffee. And you are Rachel. Rachel, nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm Chris. Hey, Chris. As humans, we have a literal food court of choices, ranging from burgers to falafel to a cup of coffee. We also have a wide variety of choices that are essential to our good health. Barn owls don't have food courts, but that doesn't mean that they don't have a vast selection to choose from. And you might be surprised at some of the choices they make. In this episode of Kid Wings Explores, we're going to talk about the vast selection that a barn owl has and the choices they make to not only live but breed successfully. Mm. Welcome to Kid Wings Explores. I'm your host, Chris Anderson. Have you ever come face to face with a wolf, a bear, a mountain lion, or a bird of prey? Kid Wings Explores is going to take you up close to meet not only these iconic species, but learn about their habits, their habitat, and the ecosystems that surround each of these exciting animals. Kid Wings Explores endeavors to bring nature into your classroom, whether it's in your living room, whether it's in your school, or whether it's in the wild. Join us today on an adventure in nature. We travel today to Frenchman's Bar Park, which is a park on the edge of Vancouver and right next to the Columbia River. We're not only here because it's a beautiful and scenic place, but we're here because it's an ideal habitat for a barn owl, and most specifically, its prey, the common vole. While a barn owl's diet is very diverse, 80% of their food source is a vole. A vole is a small rodent that nests and burrows in fields, just like the one we see here. At about dusk, every night the barn owl will start hunting over a field like this and it's looking for small rodents or small vulnerable birds. If we look closely we might find a vole hole and the barn owl will hear that vole rustling around in the weeds or leaving a hole just like this one here and then it's vulnerable to becoming a dinner for a barn owl. Barn owls are the most widespread owl species in the entire world and occur on every continent except for Antarctica. The habitat of barn owls is so diverse that they're found from the low-lying grasslands of the United States plains to the high mountains of the Andes in South America. And on another point, if you're a baseball fan, you might even see one roosting at Yankee Stadium in New York. While barn owls eat mostly small mammals, like rats and voles and mice, they also have been known to consume other type of prey like bats and even rabbits. Sometimes when we dissect owl pellets, we'll find the exoskeletons of beetles, grasshoppers, and even ladybugs. Barn owls are nocturnal, which means they hunt at night. And animals like chipmunks and squirrels and most birds are safe because those are animals that are out during the daytime. When barn owls do choose birds, they choose birds like starlings or meadow larks or blackbirds. Not too long ago in human history, we relied on seasons to tell us when to grow, when to hunt, and when to store our food. Similarly, a barn owl's diet is impacted by all four seasons. During spring, when animals are having their babies, many small mammals like skunks, rabbits, and more add to the available rodents. When temperatures warm, there's also more abundant insects available. During summer, when animals are all in high gear, it's a literal buffet for barn owls. During the fall, there might be less variety of food available, but the migration of birds provide an additional prey source. And pellets found this time of year even reveal crawfish and small fish that have been made prey to the barn owl. 
And finally, by winter, the choices are mostly rodents and birds as many species go dormant in the colder, harsher climate. It's important to understand these dynamics so that we have a better comprehension of the prey and predator relationship between a barn owl and its food source. All of these factors are not only instructive in how to conserve an owl population, but they also have a benefit to farmers. When we go and we put up nesting boxes, those boxes promote the population and they reduce the number of pests that are plaguing crops. I hope you enjoyed this month's episode of Kid Wings Explores Barn Owls, The Perfect Diet. Join us each month as we go to exciting and fascinating places to discuss the curious habits and life of the barn owl.